G'day, Jeremy from TACMED Australia. Well, spring is well and truly in season right now, and that means the snakes are about. So today, I'm gonna to show you the pressure mobilization technique using the new uh, snake bike bandage from Aero Healthcare. All right, to apply a pressure mobilization technique to a snake bite victim, we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need our snake bite bandage. In this case, we've got the snake bite bandage from Aero. We're gonna need a splint of some form. Obviously the SAM splints, the aero splints are ideal. If not, we can use magazines, newspapers, we can use sticks, anything you can find to mobilize that limb. We're then gonna need something to secure that immobilization as well. So this one, I've just got some Coban for that. And we're also gonna need a pen or a Sharpie to mark the site on uh, where the snake bite is. Okay, so I've got Jen here, she's been bitten by a snake. Okay, firstly, something important, we won't do it in this case, but if we've got any rings or watches, we need to remove them, okay? A lot of the time we can have swelling of the limb, and if we've got rings on, we could lose that, uh, lose that digit. So, remove any limbs. So the snake's uh, bitten Jen on her wrist there, so just we're gonna get our bandage, and we're just gonna do a couple of wraps directly over that site. So we wanna tighten that bandage, so it, these rectangles become squares, okay? We know we wanna do a tourniquet, and we're gonna go down that limb, and we're gonna mark. Gonna mark where that uh, bite is. Okay, all the way as far as you go. I'm just gonna leave her fingertips exposed, so that way we're able to assess the circulation and it's not too tight. Okay, I'm going over half the bandage at every wrap. And then as I've gone over that bite site, again, I'm just gonna mark the site. The reason we mark that site is that when the patient's taken to hospital, they can do a swab to test what the type of venom is. And, so, and a lot of the time, they'll just cut a square out of that area to all swab underneath that um, bandage. So they won't remove the bandage at all when they do the swabs. So we're just gonna continue going up the limb as high as we go. And that's the good thing about this new snake bite bandage from Aero, it's that uh, it goes to 10 meters in length when it's stretched. So that's, um, instead of go using two or three bandages on someone tall, you can just get it all done with the one bandage. It's good that under the adrenaline, we know exactly how tight we can do this as well with these squares. So normally I'd have Jen laying down flat on the ground, but obviously for the purpose of this video, uh, it'd be a little bit hard to do. So that's it. I'm then just gonna either take this down or just tuck it underneath there. So it's really important to keep the patient nice and still, okay? So, because the, the venom moves through the lymphatic system, we don't want them moving around because that's gonna pump the venom up into the rest of the body. We're then gonna splint this, uh, this limb. All right, so we've splintered the limb. We're gonna keep Jen nice and still. You notice there, I've kept her fingers out there so I can just test that capillary refill, and that's still filling up in less than two seconds, so we know we haven't cut off circulation. We also know that because we've, um, we've got our identification squares there, and I can also place my finger under the bandage. It's, really, it's quite firm, but I'm able to easily get a finger under there, so it's a good strength to stop, to slow down the lymphatic flow, and therefore the venom, but not tight enough that it's gonna cut off circulation. Obviously, we then monitor the patient closely and need to evacuate her to an ambulance or a hospital, okay? Constantly reassessing her vital signs. And that's it, that's the pressure mobilization technique using the Aero Snake Bite Bandage. Thanks for watching.